Well, we've also, Joe, uh, Mike Huckabee, a, a, a soundbite you wanted to hear, I know. He was speaking yesterday about human life and the definition of marriage. Right. Mika, I want you to listen to me because I think you'll appreciate the way. Hold on a second. Hold on. He Wait, explained. Let's, let's brace ourselves. Do we have seatbelts? Because after Mika hears this, we're going to go be going for a ride. <laughs> it's gonna, it is going to. Let's talk about God and the Constitution, oh, Mika. Oh, good. I look Governor forward. Mike Huckabee Here yesterday. we go. I have opponents in this race who do not want to change the Constitution. But I believe it's a lot easier to change the Constitution than it would be to change the word of the living God. And that's what we need to do is to amend the Constitution so it's in God's standards rather than try to change God's standards so it lines up with some contemporary view of how we treat each other and how we treat the family. There you go. Mika. Yeah. Living God. Change well, the Constitution. I, uh, change the, I'm reading it now. So it's in God's standards, right? He also asked you to change do God's two standards. things tonight, Mika. What did he ask me to Pray do? Pray and work hard in that order. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And be subservient to my husband? No, he didn't say that. Oh, he didn't? Okay. Well, you've already said you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's implied. <laughs> that is implied. That goes without saying. That goes without saying. Why, why in the world would you say that? Well, you're right, actually. Uh, <laughs> Mika, actually, <laughs> Mika, actually, that's the one thing that Huckabee has said since the beginning of this campaign yeah. that Mika agrees with. The subservience. I'm surprised part. you went along with that. I. What do you mean I went along with it? The it's, subservience. It's the fundamental of marriage, Oh, really. is that right? Absolutely. So okay, here, wife, come, here come that. the emails. <laughs> oh, my God, the last time she said Does that. Does Mika need a sarcasm get, alert, too? No, that's not, she's sarcasm not being sarcastic. That's, that she, we went through this before, and there we were flooded with emails emails from yeah. feminists who thought Mika had set the movement back a few centuries. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't see it. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to save us a few emails and move on to the <laughs> other big event tonight. Michigan primary, of course, huge, but also... Oh, 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 oh I got to stop there. Yeah. I, I, I will say, I think it is, I think, I think it is um, yes. interesting, and I think we should comment on it, just in passing. He is our friend, Mike Huckabee oh, is yes. our friend, and I have always been the first guy to say that evangelicals should be able to talk politics just like liberals should be able to go into churches and talk politics. I will say that some might find that statement very troubling that we are going to change the Constitution to be in line with the Bible. And that's all I'm going to say. And isn't it interesting that Mike Huckabee, well, because I'm of his say charm, one more and, thing. Yes. render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, <laughs> and unto God that which is God's. Let us worry about the spiritual on one side. Anyway, now go let, ahead. let's imagine someone else saying that. Someone without his charm and his personality, he'd be dismissed as a crackpot, wouldn't he? Yeah. But he's Mike Huckabee. I he's like basically him. the front runner. God, God help me. I like him. Amazing. I want to say like one him. one quick note before we get to Mika's news. Actually, seriously, I just have to say seriously, yeah. that is that is more of a reach. Yeah. It, it, uh, more of I think liberals would say a breach of the line separating church and state than Mike Huckabee I guess, has uh, to change the constitution to yeah. be in line with the word of God. You might say that. You might yeah. say that. All right.